What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here, and today I'm gonna show you how to group your WebPAR 50 PAR lights. Now the cool thing is we can use the master slave function on two different groups of lights so that each group is doing a different thing. So we'll start with this group here and set up a master light for the group. To do that, we'll go to the master slave menu on our master light, press enter, and use the up and down buttons to select the master mode and press enter to save. We'll then take our slave light and go to the master slave menu and use the up and down buttons till we get to the D512 menu and press enter to set it to slave mode. We'll also want to set these lights to the same DMX code by going to the U512 menu, press enter, and select any code from U1 to U7. For today, we'll set this group to U7. We're then going to follow the same steps for our second group of lights here, but we're going to want to use a different DMX code. For today, we'll set this group to U1. Now the cool thing is we'll be able to control each of these groups with just one remote, but in order to do that, we have to follow a few steps first. Starting with our first group here, we're going to want to go into the remote settings and select between REN1 or REN2. For this group, we'll select REN1. Now on the second group of lights here, we'll go to the remote settings and set both lights to REN2. So now I can use my remote to control both groups of lights, but in order to switch between the two groups, I'm gonna hold down the brightness button on the remote until the LED on top flashes once, then I'm gonna keep holding down until it flashes quickly, and this means I successfully switched the remote group. So now that I have the remote set to group one, I can use the remote to change my lights. Then if I wanna move on to the next group, I'm gonna hold down the brightness buttons until it flashes once, and then flashes again quickly. And now I have it set to remote two to control my second group of lights. So now to quickly explain how the remote works, we have the brightness buttons here to control the brightness of our lights. And like we just showed you, if you hold them down, you can switch between the two groups. Then we have the on and off buttons to control the bulbs of the lights so we can either turn them off or back on. Then we have the static colors here so we can pick between red, green, blue, white, amber, or ultraviolet. Then we can even use these numbers here to set the lights to different color options. Then we have the mode buttons here to set the lights to different modes. So we have the sound mode, which will set the lights to sound mode. We can also set the lights to strobe mode. Next, we have the snap mode, the fade mode, and the auto mode. And while we have the lights set to any of these modes, we can use the brightness buttons to control the speed of the modes. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to group your wet PAR 50 PAR lights. But of course, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.